Chelsea, let me introduce you. We have Chelsea Barabbas. She is the Senior Advisor for Social Impact at MIT Media Lab. So, welcome to the interview. Thanks for spending Thanks. your time with us today. Sure. So we just had Carlos on and heard a bit about this workshop that you'll be leading. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit more about this digital currency initiative because he mentioned uh, he mentioned Bitcoin. Your role in the digital currency initiative is to explore the ways blockchain and Bitcoin technology can be used to impact social issues. What have you learned so far? I think, uh, well, what have I learned so far? Um, most people, when they think about Bitcoin, they think about a pretty specific use case. They think about, you know, transacting value online digitally, right. magic internet money, right? So I think the most interesting thing for me is over the last six months since this initiative has started, uh, we've gotten to talk to a really a wide range of interesting stakeholders across so many different sectors and industries. And it's am amazing to me once we start to talk about kind of what the technology can do, their ability to find interesting use cases uh, across the board. Um, so I think that's generally what's been so surprising to me. Okay, yeah. well, you know, obviously we're here at Exponential Medicine, we have the healthcare industry very well represented. What is the real opportunity for digital currency in an industry like healthcare? I think the, the most interesting thing that I'm thinking about right now it has to do with thinking about shifting towards a more user-centered paradigm for data management. So right now, we, in order to keep patients' data safe, really important thing, right? right. There are lots of sensitive, important information uh, that that kind of accrues over your lifespan and, and your healthcare. Um, but uh, right now, we, it, we really need a lot of infrastructure, big overhead in place to keep that data safe. So we need big institutions, big healthcare providers to do that job for us right now. Absolutely. I think that what we're starting to see is with the, the emergence of blockchain technology, we can start to shift to a much more patient-centered paradigm for doing data management. Right, yeah. right. Now, obviously, again, that's another theme that's been so robust and, and well-discussed here at Exponential Medicine. You know, so you mentioned the payers and, and the roles that they're going to play in this. How can the big players behind healthcare's current business model help make room for digital currency? How can they really integrate it more into everyday operations? I think uh, right now, the, the best thing to do is start to really dig into it and start playing with it. Uh, a lot of what we're trying to do is figure out how to establish partnerships with big institutions who want to learn by doing. So right. there's a lot of ideas that are out there right now. People are talking about hypothetically what could be done with digital currency, but I think we need to start moving towards doing real pilots on a small scale, figuring out how to scope some sort of practical thing where we can think about and, and work through the nuts and bolts of how you know, doing some sort of blockchain-based permissioning of, of health data would actually work. Excellent. Yeah. You know, well, so if we know, uh, have a good sense of what the opportunity is, tell us what you see as the constraints of really being able to move forward with something like digital currency. Hmm. So the constraints, I think there are a number. You know, um, the, the biggest constraint or challenge right now is the steep learning curve of understanding what exactly the technology is. Yeah. There are, especially for people outside of kind of cryptography or computer science. Um, but for us to be able to think really creatively about what this technology can do, I think more people from more diverse disciplines need to start to dig in and, and really um, learn about what this technology can do. Once that's happened, though, um, I think that the world is our oyster. The, the technology is open. Uh, it, there are, it's a permissionless platform for us to think about innovating and experimenting in the future. Well, I mean, I think, you know, what a perfect place to be perfect conversation to have with this audience, something that is really going to exponentially improve, hopefully, the lives of so many people. Hopefully. So, Chelsea, thank you so yeah, much for joining you. us here on the Guidewell Insights Lounge. I think that we're going to let you go and enjoy, hopefully take a tour of the Innovation Lab here. Um, I really wanted to let everybody know that we're here in the Innovation Lab. There's so many people that are displaying their wares, and um, hopefully we'll have a lot of those folks come on here at the Guidewell Insights Lounge. So thank you again yeah, for your you. time. All, All right. right. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. What we're going to be doing now, everybody, is going back to do a social media recap with